Hey friends, it's Heather, and I've tried doing this video a couple different times where the sound just didn't want to show up. Uh, so finally my husband came down and fixed my headset for me so that I didn't have to um, hear all the feedback, which was really mixing me up, and also recorded the sound. So I'm going to start out with a new post. Um, you'll see I'm in my dashboard, and I'm going to click on New Post. And I'm going to title this... Um, two pictures side by side on my blog. Um, and I'm just doing this because Kathy and I had spoke earlier about trying to put two pictures side by side on our blog and it's not easy to do. So I'm going to move my post script out of the way. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to have it centrally um, aligned and I'm going to go to my text and choose large um, and with my background a black um, color works good which you would just choose your text color right here so go back to the center say hello friends and I can see already that it's not in the um, large text so there you go hello friends and welcome to my blog I thought it would be fun to try and place two photos next to each other today. Make that two day. All right, so normally what I would do is I would come up here to my insert an image, then go to choose file, look at my files. I'm just gonna pick a download and I'll go to, oops, went a little too far. Let's see, I got some graphic fairy images somewhere. So here we go. And let's just take this pretty rose. I'm gonna open it. It's gonna show up on my screen here in a moment and it's highlighted with the blue um, frame, which means it's ready to be selected and uploaded. And now there's my photo in the center of my blog. If I left click, if I move my mouse actually over top of it, you'll see the crosshairs. I can left click, I can make it small, and I can move it all the way to the left. So now in theory, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of my bird again. He likes to creep up, he's my friend. Um, and you notice I have my cursor right next to my other photo. So to me, it would seem like in Blogger that you should just be able to go and pick another photo and to save time I'm just going to highlight the same one and add it again and you'll notice that it puts it on the line below so even though I left click on it and I make it small and I put it all the way to the left or I mean all the way to the right um, and I scroll up a little bit and I try to move it up a line it's not going to work I can move it to the left I can move it back to the right um, but it's not going to let you put it on the same line. So I'm going to go ahead and get my bird out of the way again here. Silly bird. Actually, I'm going to remove this photo. And I'm going to come back up and remove this photo. And now I'm going to go to Picasa, which is another um, free program. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. Um, now I'm in my Picasa library. Maybe many of you have this. And if you don't, um, I'll go over how to use Picasa uh, in another tutorial. I'm going to press down my control key and hold it while I select two pictures. I'm going to left click on this picture and I'm going to left click on this one. So both of these are now highlighted with the blue frame which means they're selected and they are in my selection tray. I'm going to go over to the collage button, click on that, and now you'll see I've got my two pictures um, ready to be collaged. And just to make things simple I'm going to go straight to um, the settings and I'm going to choose the grid and now my pictures are side by side already okay if I want I can have some space between my pictures by just moving this button back and forth um, you can change your background to any color you like I'm kind of partial to pink so I'm just gonna go back with that um, you can also use click this button and use an image as your background which you can't see at the moment but if I were to go like this you can see kind of gives you a neat artistic 
effect if you wanted that. Um, kind of too busy though for what I'm doing, so I'm going to go back to the pink. And I'm just going to make my photos a little bigger and not have quite as much space. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create my collage. Um, replace existing. I'm going to create a new one. Apparently I've done the same one a couple times. I'm trying to watch my S's. My husband told me I sounded too S-y or something like that. So I'll try to avoid those words. Okay, so now I have my collage and it's ready. So I'm going to take it now and I'm going to export it by using this button here. Um, and you'll see I have it at 600 um, pixels. So if it was original, it would be the original size, which you can see right over here. Um, but I'm going to resize it to 600 pixels, um, which is a good size for uploading into the gallery at Bella's or other online galleries. I have my watermark. I just um, took it off and now I can turn it on, which is just my um, link to my blog. So if someone's interested in, hey, look at that cool picture. Where is she from? It'll take her to my blog. Of course, this is going on my blog, but you know what I mean. So when you're in the gallery. So you can export. And it's going to come up in a file that looks like this. I'm going to get that out of the way. And now I'm going to go back and retrieve my blog post. And I'm going to add a photo. So I'm going to choose files. And I'm just going to go to recent places. Wow. And go to collages. Earlier I was saying college. It's pretty funny. Um, and this will be attempt number four, I believe. There we go. So I got my picture um, ready to go. Open it. Wait for it to highlight here. There's my photo. Add it. And now I've got two pictures side by side in my blog. Now if I left click, I can make it a large photo, um, which looks really nice here on my um, in my post, uh, in my draft mode. I'm going to take away a little space here, but um, the center of my blog is not very wide because I have very large um, columns to the left and right. So if I were to show you what this looks like in preview post, you'll see that it's um, it's kind of too big for my middle. It's not actually uh, centered and that kind of bugs me. So I'm going to go back to my blog and draft and I'm going to left click. I'm going to make it medium, keep it in the center. I wonder if I played around. Sometimes if you just play around the buttons, it, um, it'll center it better. And I'm going to preview again. And go to my preview window. And there you go. Looks pretty nice. Got both my pictures side by side. And it kind of gives you the same effect as if you had posted two separate pictures. All right, so that's... Um, all I'm going to talk about for now, and I'll try to post something else later. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.